Cyrus, guess what? What? Oh, you're never gonna believe it. What? You are looking at a very rich man, Miss Iris. A very rich man. Really? Oh yeah, I found something that's gonna make me a lot of money. What? Well, feast your eyes on this. On that. Oh yeah. You know what that is? A chunk of coal? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> you got that right, Miss Iris. And I just found out that coal and diamonds are both made from the same thing. They're both made from carbon. That means they gotta be worth the same, right? Well, I'm gonna be rich! Oh, ah! Marco, hold on! What? Hold on. Coal and diamonds yeah. are made of carbon, but they go under completely different processes and they're not worth the same amount of money. Well, that can't be right. What are you talking about, Miss Iris? Well, carbon under a little bit of pressure over a short amount of time can turn into coal. Yeah. But it's pretty common. You kind of go into a cave and find coal. It's not worth very much. Oh, yeah. well, what about diamonds? Well, diamonds, they start out as carbon, and over a long period of time, under a lot of pressure, they can become diamonds. That what makes them so rare, they're hard to find. Oh. And because they're rare and hard to find, that's what makes them valuable. So, Miss Iris, you're telling me that this coal isn't worth very much? I'm afraid not. Well, that's okay. I guess I don't know what I would have done with all that money if I did have it. I'm sorry, Marco. I'm over it. <laughs> hey, Marco. Yeah. This kind of reminds me a little of today's story. Uh, wow. Yeah, because we're going to meet a man in today's story who's completely changed when he meets Jesus. Oh, wow. Yeah, Jesus takes him and turns his whole life around, making him into a completely different man. Well, I can't wait to hear about this. Yeah, let's uh, listen to today's story. All right. All right. Miss Iris, want this rock? <laughs> I don't really uh, have anything. Well, actually, you can make a fire with it. Yeah, that's a good point. All right. Yeah. 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 
Hey kids, I'm here with Mr. David. Hey, hi. Hey, and you guys don't know this. Well, maybe some of you do, but Mr. David is a really good artist. Wow, I didn't know either. <laughs> no, you're really good. I'm always impressed by the stuff that you draw. Thank you. So Thanks. I thought this week's challenge would include drawing. Awesome. Yeah, I'm going to draw something. And you probably know I am not such a good artist. I would never say that. Yeah, it's true. I'm not a very good artist. I would but... never say it. <laughs> Out loud? I would never. <laughs> but I'm going to draw something, and then your challenge, Mr. David, is going to be to take what I draw and change it into something completely different. Cool. All right. Completely different. Yeah, yeah. That sounds cool. You think so? Yeah. All right. I'll do it. Um, all right. It doesn't matter what you draw. Doesn't matter what I draw. No, draw whatever you can do you want. something really cool with it and make it into something really different. Yeah. All right. Here we go. All right. Um, I, I should have thought about what I was going to draw, but I didn't. Oh, 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 oh. I, I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay. Um. Sounds good. Yeah. I hope you know what it is when you see it. All right, me too. I guess some hints. Is it a person? It's not a person. Is it a vegetable? It's not a vegetable. <laughs> is it a rock? I don't even know if the kids are going to know what it is at home. Is it a rock? I am not. It's kind of a rock. It's kind of a rock. Okay. Kind of a rock. Is it a boulder? It's, it's not a boulder. Guys, I don't think I did a very good job with this. Oh, wait, wait. If I do this. Is it... Do we have an eraser? We do have an eraser. Well, turn around and tell me if you, oh, you're if done. you know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> is this a wedding ring? An engagement ring? It is an engagement ring. Yeah. It's an engagement ring. Do you uh -oh. think you can turn that into something different? That's Absolutely. really kind of cool. Yep. You think so? Yep. Wow. All right. Um, go ahead. Okay. Mr. So, David, I'm very curious. So you could do, look at this thing. You could do lots of with this. You kind of have the shape of a fish. You kind of have the shape of maybe a bottle, like a bottle of perfume or something like that. You've got, you know, you got like a, it's gonna be like a twisty thing or like nail polish. I could easily, oh. I could easily just do one of these and have like a little, like a nail polish brush. Oh. And you got the nail polish in there and this is like the screw off cap. Oh, wow. But I don't want to do that. That's too easy. You, you don't want to do that. <laughs> too easy. Hey kids, draw an engagement ring at home and see if you can turn it into something different too. Now instead, I'm gonna go for. Okay. I'm gonna go for something else. Let's check this out. You got. All right. I might even be able to do like a. I mean, you could even do like a little watch or something. You know, you have like the hands of a clock. Oh, like a stopwatch. Like a stopwatch, and then you got like, you know, the chain or the lanyard, whatever that it holds on to. Oh my goodness! You are so good at this. Thanks. I'm not gonna do that either. She's not gonna do that either. Hmm. Well, that was too easy. <laughs> Mr. David, I struggled to just make this thing. <laughs> here's, what I, here's what I'm gonna do instead. Check this out. Uh oh, I'm excited. Hmm. <laughs> Talk us through it, Mr. David. All right. You got these little guys down here. Oh, interesting. <laughs> what is that? Give him some little feet. There we go. And then we're gonna do one last piece. Whoa! <laughs> it's supposed to be a rocket ship. There's a little astronaut floating around here. <laughs> that's, a, that's what they say. Right? <laughs> Stars, you know, we got the sun. Whoa! Now he's an astronaut, he's floating in space. <laughs> Mr. David, I am so impressed. Thanks, thanks. Wow, that is great. You really took something and you made it into something completely different. You know, kids, in our Bible story today, God is going to take a man and he's going to change him completely. 
completely, so much so that people won't even recognize who he is. The Miracle of Mercy, Paul. This is Saul. Saul was a Pharisee who hated the followers of Jesus so much that he would hunt them down to be brought to trial in Jerusalem. And he would even seek to murder them. Saul was uttering threats with every breath, and he was eager to kill the Lord's followers. So he went to the high priest. He asked him to write a letter to the Jews in Damascus that would allow him to arrest any Christians he found there. He wanted to bring them, both men and women, back to Jerusalem in chains. Now Saul went on his way. And as he came near Damascus, a light from heaven flashed around him, and he heard a voice that said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul cried out, Who are you, Lord? And the voice said, I am Jesus. Rise and go into the city, and you will be told what to do. So Saul got up, and he opened his eyes, but he couldn't see anything. So the men who were with Saul led him into the city. After three days, a man named Ananias came to Saul. He put his hands on Saul and immediately Saul could see again. And with that, Saul became a follower of Jesus. He became the very thing he had tried to hunt and he immediately began telling people that Jesus is the Son of God, and he taught them about the mercy of God that he had received. And all who heard him were amazed. He then went by a new name, Paul, as he began preaching not just to the Jewish people, but to everyone. Despite many difficulties like being imprisoned, shipwrecked, and narrowly escaping death multiple times, Paul continued to preach about Jesus. Paul said that he would do everything he could to save people and help them know God. And that's just what he did in order to reach people who would otherwise be unreached. And many came to know Jesus because of what Paul said. Paul taught many in his day through his letters but even more have come to learn more about Jesus through the letters of Paul that can be read even to this day.
Hey kids, I wanted to talk about how much God loves us and that when you choose to follow Jesus, nothing can separate us from his love. I know sometimes it feels like, how is that possible, Miss Iris? I don't know if God can love me. I make a lot of mistakes. I do a lot of things that I know are wrong but God loves you so much. And the really cool thing that we saw in today's Bible story is that His love can change us and make us into something new, the people that we were created to be. I wanted to show you guys a little experiment. This is God. You know, God's always been here. He's pure and He's perfect, isn't He? But God did the most amazing thing. He created the world and he created people. Do you guys remember what the very first people were? Adam and Eve. And the Bible tells us that when he created Adam and Eve, he said, this is good. And things were wonderful. Nothing came between God and Adam and Eve. It was just the way he wanted it. But then something sad happened. Something came into the world. Do you guys remember what it is? Yeah, sin. Adam and Eve made some mistakes. They made a bad decision. And then sin separated them from God. It made God really sad. That was never his plan for us. He didn't want anything to come between us and him. So he made a plan to send his son into the world to teach us what the kingdom was like, to teach us what God was like, to make a way for us to be a part of God's family forever. A place where sin could not separate us from the love of God. And God's love poured into the world so that sin will no longer separate us from God. Hey kids, have you made a decision to follow Jesus? Have you ever prayed and asked Jesus to lead you and guide you? to forgive you of all the wrong things you've done, you can do that today. Ask your mom and dad to help you pray and ask Jesus to make you a part of his family.
Hey kids, you know, our story today can be found in our Bibles in Acts chapter 9. You know, there were some people in our story today that thought Saul was so evil that he could not change. But did God think that? No, God didn't think that. God loves each and every one of us. Even when we make mistakes and we make bad choices, he loves us. You know, Jesus met Saul on the road to Damascus and he changed his life forever. Saul became Paul and Paul loved Jesus. You know, when we're friends with Jesus, he shows us how to love others no matter what. He shows us how to love people that are mean to us. He shows us how to love people that look different than us. He shows us how to love people that act differently than we do. He shows us how to love people that think differently than we do. He loves people and he shows us how to love people, period. Yeah, God loves us and his love can change us. He wants us to be a part of his family forever. And he loves us so much. He loves people so much that he wants us to go out and tell others about him so he can make them a part of his family as well. Hey kids, why don't we close our eyes, bow our heads as we pray. Dear Father God, thank you. Thank you for your never ending love, for your big love that loves us no matter what, who loves us when we make mistakes, who loves us when we make bad choices. Please help us. Help us to look at other people with a lot of love. Help us to see them the way that you see them. We love you, Lord. Amen. We'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.